Hey y'all, welcome back. On that last video, I promised y'all I was going to show y'all a wood pellet burning heater that I built a few years ago. And uh, I'm here on this cold, windy day to deliver on that promise. Uh, I'm going to set y'all up and show y'all some parts of it. This thing is built out of nothing but junk other than this high dollar funnel sitting on top of it. Everything else is just junk stuff that people was going to throw away and they let me have. And uh, I made a use for it. Ain't nothing fancy about it. It's, it's junk, but it is functional. I'm talking about, I forgot just how, just how functional, just how good this thing works. It's just been sitting up in that old camper there. But uh, let me get to showing y'all some of these parts and then show you how it works. So this was just a piece of four inch tubing that somebody had done, gouged out, welded up, like it was done used a couple of times for different things. And then eventually got thrown away. That's a piece of four inch round pipe. That's about four foot long. I just took a couple of pieces of square tube and some angle there and stabilized it up this way. Just took a piece of angle and turned it upside down. This thing wasn't made to be fancy. I was just experimenting, seeing if I could get something to work. This right here, just a piece of two and a half inch tubing that I mounted this funnel into. This goes down through the four inch tubing comes out cut at an angle. I'll show you why in a little bit. Down beneath it, you can see where I cut some lines out right there. Cut some long holes out with a torch. And back behind that, I don't know if you can tell it, I drilled several quarter inch or three eighths inch holes. The long holes are to feed air up to where the pellets are going to initially start burning. And I don't know if you can see the holes that are drilled behind that back there. That is where once the pellets are partially burned, they roll down and eventually they fall down into the bottom down there into a ash bin. And in that ash bin, they continue to burn until they burn completely out. I didn't have another piece of four inch tubing, so I took a piece of four inch by inch and a half rectangle tubing and I cut some out of it. And the two and the piece that I cut out of here, I split in two and I made me some flat bar just to get me a big enough space in here. Now this is a ash bin. This is an old, like an old Vienna can I cut down. And what you do is take a few of your pellets, drop them down in there. Take some of your 91% rubbing alcohol and put it in there. You'll set that in here to where when this goes in, you want that to be right up under that pipe right there. And this is just made out of old metal stud. And then you take you another few pellets and just drop in here around it. And sometimes I just pour a little more alcohol on them, let them soak a little bit of that up. Put 
close that to where it needs to be. Then you take a few more pellets and you can just slide them in there. These are just going to be what gets this thing started off. Now this is just a piece of metal I bent and took a cutting blade on an angle grinder and just cut some little vent holes in here. Now that piece of pipe that I showed you inside here is set, it's cut on an angle just like that. So when you slide this in there, it slides up to that and makes up. Now, the way you control how many pellets is coming through, how much fuel you're getting is how tight you have that up against that piece of pipe in there. If you back it out, you got more room, more pellets is gonna fall down through and feed that fire. Now when I'm starting it off, I just made this little cap right here. Like I said, ain't none of this stuff done in a fancy way. It was just an experiment. Uh, that's just another piece of stud that I bent. To start it off, I rest it right there on that little washer I bent and welded on there. And you just take and light that little bit of pellets right there. It's hard to tell when that alcohol is burning. It's burning, but you can't hardly see it. So I slide that up under there. You take your pellet, dump you some in there. I'd like to stop right here for just a little while and let it catch up. Then you can wad you up some paper. Try to make sure it's going to fit down the hole. You can light that up. Drop that down in your pipe, get your little draft started. That's not necessary. It just speed it up a little bit. And you can see it started. And that smoke, it ain't gonna last forever. You give that a few seconds and let it, let it start burning up and get up on that grating up there. Now if you watch that smoke right there, it's going to, uh, it'll just quit all of a sudden. That's when you know it's burning good. You hear that? Now look. Where'd all that smoke go? So once that is achieved, you can push that up a little tighter. Now you can see I got little grooves cut in here or that'll fit down in inside this piece. Then I could open this up, let my air feed from the bottom. And that's just starting to burn. I forgot to show y'all earlier. 
but these pieces of pipe was 45 degrees on the side with the sun. That's 30 degrees on that block right there. See what the ground temperature is. 27. Point six. Now this thing's just started burning. Y'all saw it just caught on. It's at The hottest part right now is 400, excuse me, the hottest part right now is at 430. It'll cool off back this way. Let's add some more pellets into it. I don't want it to burn too long right now. But uh, I want to show y'all how hot it gets with these. These pellets right here are from Trap Supply. They're hardwood pellets, therefore pellet burning stoves and pellet burning heaters. So here's a little view of what's going on inside there. I don't know if you can tell as much about it. But now that can be adjusted by that you hear that air close off or by this bottom right now I still got those pellets in the bottom in that can so I'm closing that off most of the way and opening this up a little bit And then we'll get some temperatures on this thing. So, yep, too hot to register right there now. 570, 606 right there. Too hot to measure there. 440. Too hot to measure. 570. I don't know why I'm saying that. Y'all can read. But yeah. It's well over 600 degrees right there. You see how much pellets is burned through since we just poured them in there. But now, like I say, that can be controlled by closing this air off so don't let it burn so fast. You can close that down, like I said earlier, and open that up as a tad and let it burn not quite as fast and not as hot but still get plenty of heat off of it and you can see just how bad it's a smoking right there all right we at 540 just under the feed there go down and over to the right where the flames are Six twenty five. Too hot to measure at some point there. And I've I'm out of pellets now. It's barely going. But I was telling y'all over here at this bend it would get hotter. 
than it was earlier. So it's on up to 500 there. Up here at the top, 229, 224, and that is not with, you can see there's no pellets left down there on the grating. Only thing burning right now is what's down inside the tube, which is not much. So it's done cooled down. Now I may come back later on and clean all this up right here grind these old welds off, clean all this up, make it look good, and put a cook plate right here and uh, give it some proper legs. If anybody be interested in seeing something like that, leave a message down in the comments. I'm gonna come back and do another video burning a different fuel in here. I found a fuel that's not specifically for this that burns hotter than this and you'll see a difference you'll hear a difference as always thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video if you enjoyed it and you like this kind of thing hit the like button leave me a comment if you haven't subscribed yet give me a subscribe and until next time y'all take care as always <laughs> i forgot what to say gopro stop recording